there is no rest for the wicked i was still trying to fathom and relish lama 3's pi and also the previously released mixtrol model this month snowflake has dropped this massive 400 billion plus model on us just few minutes ago snowflake architect is a true beast in this video i am going to introduce you to this snowflake architect plus i am also going to show you a demo and we will also be testing it out on few of the benchmarks but i believe that this snowflake arctic model is going to rattle so many companies that it will be unbelievable and this is what i think is going to happen we all think that all of these metas googles aws maybe mistral they are going or any one open ai of course they are going to lead it but look at this snowflake which is primarily a data warehouse company in its essence and they are releasing these arctic models i already have covered smallish model from snowflake and they are quite good but this model this is a top tier enterprise focused llm that pushes the frontiers of cost effective training and openness arctic is efficiently intelligent and truly open what exactly is meant, meant by truly open i will discuss it shortly but for the flavor of it you can download and start using it on your own local private system right now from hugging face let's go back to snowflake's introduction so snowflake as i said it is truly efficient and i believe tailored for an enterprise arctic excels at enterprise tasks such as sql generation coding and instruction following benchmarks even when compared to open source models trained with significantly higher compute budgets in fact it sets a new baseline for cost effective training to enable snowflake customers to create high quality customer custom models for their enterprise needs at a low cost so that is a cash there i think mostly this snowflake architect is amazing no doubt about that but whenever i read their technical documentation their paper it is you know they are particularly addressing the snowflake customers but i believe even if you're not a snowflake customer you can still take lot of advantage from it and you can even use it for lot of other databases such as oracle and the list goes on and on so when they say truly open it means that licenses apache 2 which provides ungated access to weights and code also they have open source all of their data recipes and research insights which is really really good of them no doubt about their snowflake arctic is available from hugging face as i just showed you you can even uh, you will be able to use it very soon uh, from amazon web services azure and vidya api catalog lemini perplexity replicate and together over the coming days and of course you can access it right now from snowflake cortex 2 and you can see that this diagram shows you the average of coding human eval plus mbpp plus sql generation which is on done on spider and also instruction following and the performance of snowflake arctic at is just at 65% where it is rivaling or maybe even surpassing all of the rest of the lot including llama 3 which is amazing now the thing is that there is a consistent pattern in ai needs and use cases for lot of enterprise customers so if you for example look at this diagram this is primarily showing you the models architecture and training compute for architect and comparing it with llama 270 billion dbrx and mixtrol 8 into 22 billion and few others training compute is by the way proportional to the product of active parameters and training tokens as you can see the snowflake architecture is dense plus moi hybrid which is quite interesting and now training vanilla mixture of expert architecture with a large number of expert is very inefficient even on the most powerful ai training hardware due to high all to all communication overhead among experts so but it is possible to hide this overhead overhead if the communication communication can be overlapped with communication so if you look at this uh, training efficiency which this are new dense uh, and moi hybrid transformer is achieving in snowflake architect arctic arctic uses a unique 
dense mixture of expert hybrid transformer architecture. It combines a 10 billion dense transformer model with a residual 12, uh, 128 into 3.66 billion MOE MLP resulting in 480 billion total and 17 billion active parameter chosen using a top two getting. It was designed and trained using the three key insights. First, it um, uses um, the unique and novel expert choices that MOE is applied to auto regressive LLMs to significantly improve model quality without increasing compute cost. Also, in designing architect, Snowflake noticed that the improvement of the model quality dependent primarily on the number of experts and the total number of parameters in the mixture of expert model and the number of ways in which these experts can be combined together. So that is why if you look at this diagram, Arctic is designed to have 480 billion parameters spread across 128 fine-grained experts. So 128 experts, how good is that? If you go to the previous table, you will see that this is a 128k whereas dbrx has just 16 experts so this is a difference there now not only that improves the performance but also reduces the compute cost so as you can see that the recent mixture of expert models are built with significantly fewer experts also arctic leverages a large number of total parameters and many experts to enlarge the model's capacity for top tier intelligence while it judiciously uses among many but condensed experts and engages a moderate number of active parameters for resource efficient training and inference. Also, this model excels at enterprise metrics like code generation and SQL, which requires vastly different data curriculum than training models for generic metrics. So they have done um, this training on hundreds of small scale training data sets and ablations and they have did, uh, put it in detail their all training strategy in their uh, uh, project page where i will share in the video's description i could go on and on with this one because this is simply amazing now one uh, last thing i wanted to tell you that its performance in some of the benchmarks is better than llama 3 which is something to be really really fair now having said that you can try it out today on replicate so the streamlet uh, streamlit app so let's try it out on few of the benchmarks let me ask a few of the questions and let me first make it bit bigger so that it will be visible so there you go so you see this is the snowflake arctic 480 billion plus parameter temperature is this i'll just increase a bit or maybe i'll just sorry i think i'll just put it on seven which makes it bit creative and top p i'll just keep it as it is and that's it. it's a very very simple chat interface so let's try it out let's try out first few of the sql prompts in the first prompt i am asking it write the sql query to calculate the total revenue generated by each product category in the last quarter including the number of units sold and average selling price let's wait okay so it says that uh, okay so it is asking me uh, that it needs to do my schema can you just um, imagine a dummy table structure? There you go. This is how 480 billion parameter model works. It has just imagined it, all the schema, and this is a perfect theory with all the group by clauses. There is a sub query too. Amazing stuff. Let me try to ask it one more question on SQL. This time I have given it a bit of a complex SQL problem that imagine you are tasked with creating a comprehensive report on employee performance across departments for the last fiscal year. And then I'm giving it some of the criteria here. Let's see. And this is a typical enterprise level question. Oh, amazing stuff. So let me quickly review the SQL which it has generated. So it's a with clause, perfect. And then it is joining uh, employer project evaluation. There is a join. And then again, with clause and then sub query, amazing stuff. And then group by. You see, not only the speed, but the quality of SQL it is generating is simply out of this world. 
Now let me see if it can do some SQL optimization. Let me give it some suboptimal query and then I will ask it to optimize it. If you look at this problem, I have given it a query and I am asking it that this is a suboptimal SQL query intended to retrieve this, this, this. So optimize it. Let's see if it is able to optimize this query. Okay, so if you look at the above query, this is my query where it is doing nothing. This one is properly using the max function in the sub query and then putting it here. Amazing stuff. Now let's quickly ask it um, one of the enterprise level questions such as write me uh, a travel policy for my company um, Fubla. Let's see. There you go. So you will get the full uh, policy from here. So I'll stop it. Now, again, you can ask it, right? Um, what should be the hiring SOP? Something like that. Let's stop it. There you go. So it is going to uh, write the whole SOP for you. And you can, of course, you know, go on and on and on. The point here is that Snowflake Arctic is really good or maybe best LLM for enterprise AI. I think I agree with that. It is totally open with that license. Amazing stuff. I will drop the link to this blog post from Snowflake in video description. Play around with it. Let me know what you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.